Here's a sample co-insurance problem. Let's say I insure a building for $350,000. Another word for that would be I bought $350,000 worth of coverage on that building. Let's say there's an 80% co-insurance clause. And let's say the replacement cost of my building were $800,000. Another way of saying that would be the value of my building would be $800,000. In other words, what would I lose? What would it cost to replace it if there were a total loss? It would cost $800,000 to replace that. Now, let's say we have a fire that actually causes this much loss, $200,000 damage. Now the question is, how much will the insurance company pay me under these circumstances for that $200,000 loss? Go ahead and pause the video for a moment, work that out, and then start it again to see how you did. Anytime we have a coinsurance situation, we're always going to set up a fraction. The denominator of that fraction is going to be the amount that the insurance company tells us we should buy. So that is 80% of the value of the building. In other words, they say if there were a total loss, you should have bought $800,000 coverage. But since there's rarely going to be a total loss, as long as you buy 80% of that and your loss is less than that, we'll pay all of it. All right? So we take 80% times 800,000 in this case. So our denominator would be 640,000. Is that what everybody got? Now the numerator is the coverage that we actually buy. It's the amount of insurance we actually purchased. And in this case, we only purchased 350,000. They said, well, you really should purchase 640,000 if you don't want to bear part of the responsibility yourself. But we said, no, we'll go ahead and co-insure it with you. And we take that fraction, we always take that fraction, and multiply it times the actual loss, times how much damage there was. This, this would be the damage. So there was $200,000 worth of damage. So we can take 35, divide it by 64, and multiply that by 200,000. It should be a little more than half little more than half. What do we get? One... Any pennies? What is it? That's it? Okay. So they would pay us $109,375. Did anybody else get that same number? Okay. I don't have a calculator. Just want to make sure that we were looking good. So this would be the answer under these circumstances. What if we had bought 640000 What if we had met the coinsurance clause? How much would they have paid then? They would have paid the whole amount, wouldn't they? If we had bought $640,000 worth. 